I tried some trendy painting techniques that you might have seen on the internet. Uh, let me show you how they worked out and give you some tips. Tip number one, don't have nasty, crusty <laughs> acrylic paint, but you know, that's what I had. So this is a picture of the abstract. I'll make sure to link down below um, the pictures and the resources that I use the most. But um, using some acrylic paint, I've had this probably 20 years. So there's definitely some goopy, um, and I was limited on colors, but I kind of wanted to use up some of the stuff that I had, not buy new supplies. But anyway, you can see little drips, little drops, and just abstractly <laughs> um, swipe it around. I didn't know how much paint to use, so I figured less is more. You can build up layers, and you don't necessarily want a particular pattern. Introducing some yellow there, just that little pop of brightness. And one of the tricky things is to make sure you don't mix them too much so that they get muddy because you don't want them turning into brown. That's just, unless you're going for brown colored scheme, I guess. <laughs> but um, making sure to cover all surfaces and then introducing that lavender, which I think just does the, does the job. Makes me think of spring. I call this my little Easter painting. And I'm really quite happy with how it turned out. There's not really right or wrong with this technique, so it's a winner for sure. Next up, I saw that you could do something with pop bottles and fluid painting here. So that's kind of what it's supposed to look like. And then after you do some pouring and twisting and stuff, magic. Well, <laughs> I hadn't really watched videos on the technique for a while I didn't really look for instructions, I was just like, yeah, I kind of remember seeing something in a video. So I decided to give myself a border in case things didn't go all the way to the edge and try to do an offset. And this paint, I mean this is sped up by like 16 times, so it didn't actually flow this freely. Uh, normally when you're doing fluid paint you actually do add a medium to thin it down, but keep it nice and bound. <laughs> like you don't want it to separate so I don't know I was just trying to make this hot mess not look so hot messy and do the pouring trying to salvage it and uh, yeah I <laughs> now these colors aren't exactly the most complimentary so I don't know what I was really going for except for the fact that I had a lot of these colors and not a lot of others so this is more about technique than um, a perfect outcome I guess and I did learn a lot from this and I did give it another go uh, I, I also got some ideas of some original artwork I want to do in the future but trying to give it a little more interest and maybe salvage the job I just uh, dripped down some light blue paint in the end um, yeah <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you also think that it looks special very special so moving on to attempt number two of this technique I actually did a lot of research reading watching videos and learning about the proper not only techniques but also materials this is not the perfect materials I decided to use tempera paints because again I had a bunch of those sitting around for a few years and I knew that they were more liquidy without having to add anything to them. They're technically a watercolor, so they're not really recommended for this. And you'll see why. But isn't that beautiful? This is called a flip cup method. It's a dirty pour, also as it might be known. You can see there's like some chunks, because like two or three of the colors. Again, I, I've had these for years. They were just really a lot thicker than the others. So not ideal, but I think this one turned out so much better. Sorry, it's not all on frame. I was more focused on getting a good combo than the perfect shot. I realized that I didn't have enough paint, so just put in some more of those colors to finish up the job. And there's a lot of really cool things you can do if you have the right things to add. And it doesn't sound like it's too pricey but you can um, add things to create what are called cells or kind of like bubbles where you have like
colors from underneath peeking out there's some really neat things so I plan to do more of this in the future when I get the proper materials but this is how it kind of looked and I loved it but you see the problem here <laughs> this has been drying for about 18 hours at this point or like 16 hours something like that and it's developing cracks which I honestly thought that it probably would because my paint was pretty thick and if it's too thick it's not going to dry evenly and it's going to crack also probably because it's pretty liquidy as a water paint without proper binders this is actually like two or three days later so you can see the full extent of the cracking it's it's pretty pervasive which you know can be um, like an intentional antiquing <laughs> but but really I mean it was practicing more how to get the fun colors and uh, if you really want to make some lemonade out of those lemons you can maybe use it um, as like a sun catcher yeah yeah accentuate those cracks like I did here <laughs> anyway I still thought it was pretty fun I just changed my banner on this page and who knows when you're watching this but I put it up because I, I loved the colors so much so the last technique I usually see done with ink and paper but I did see this with obviously the paint so going back to the acrylic paints took some little string got it soaking in the paint and then painted the canvas I intentionally left some brush strokes just for a little style and kept it wet because that's what was done in the video and then it looked like they're just carefree doing the strings but that that does not look cute that does not look like all the videos so try it again wanted to make sure that it all got contact on there and it I, th I think it looks better a little bit yeah and the last one again not going for cute colors like this is obviously not a winner with the color scheme but just trying the technique and will third be the best no 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 that looks the worst actually <laughs> so what do you guys think comment down below which was your favorite this was definitely my favorite even though it got the cracks um, I now know how to do it better when I get the right materials my second favorite was this it's much easier not as messy but I feel like I don't know I just like the the fluid one a little bit more this one is going to be painted over because <laughs> it's trash as well as this one not so fun anyway thank you so much for joining me I would love to hear if you have seen these if there's another technique I should try I am by far not a professional painter but I would love to have some more fun with acrylics and I really really would love to master watercolor someday so thank you for joining me make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe and I would love for you to share this have a great day